welcome to Stupid Movies, where we watch them so you don't have to. That's right. This week, we watched a movie based on a book. A movie? Ugh. Yeah. And this week, we watched a TV show based on a book. See, not only do we watch movies, we do read. I know how to read on I'm, occasion. I am at 73 books this year. I'm still on one I started a year and a half ago. <laughs> no. We watched Mia Morris's Diary, which is loosely based on Bram Stoker's Dracula. Um, directed by Sarah Stevenson, <clears throat> starring... I can't read my writing. <laughs> this is your writing this time. <laughs> starring Sky Fitzpatrick, Cherie... Muller? Muller. Muller. Mueller? Muller. 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 And Timothy Clark. So, is this a horror? Technically. Because it, it's based on what, Dracula? Dracula. Okay. Yeah. So, is that horror, though? Technically. <sighs> I know. This was a rough one. <laughs> this was a rough one for me. We turned on a camera to talk to the camera, as we do every week, but instead of reviewing something, we were uh, making diarrhea, or excuse me, diary, <laughs> making a diary about, we were talking to our boyfriend and telling him what was going on, and things were happening over here somewhere. Ooh, what happened in this? <laughs> that was... That was... That was Mia Morris's diary is a twenty uh, first century reimagining of Bram Stoker's Dracula. Okay. So if you know the story of Dracula, you know the story of this. So uh, what what did we like about this movie? You want me to take this? You by all means. I will take all of this. You run and roll okay. with this. Rob doesn't like vampire movies. I don't. So <laughs> him saying anything nice about any vampire movie is very rare. Uh, I like the concept. I really do. Um, I like the idea of modernizing Dracula and how does that story look in today's world. I thought that was a cool idea. Okay, I'll give you. I'll give you that. And, and I like the idea of doing it as video diaries. Yeah, I'm going to come back to that point in my dislikes. Okay, but I, I like the idea of doing them as video diaries. I thought that was a cool idea. True. Um, no, I, yeah, I agree with that. That's kind of you know up with the times. Yeah. The movie was very found footagey to me. Mm. And I don't like found footage. Mm -hmm. Me either. But in this case, it worked. It's like video blogging. Yeah. Which is a very common thing, I yeah. suppose. And that's, that's basically what we do. Technically what we yeah. do. Because so. uh, no one watches this but us. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. I had a lot of fun matching up the characters with who they were supposed to be from the book. What? Fun? Fun. Yeah, no, I, I was having fun. It's like, oh, this is supposed to be this character. So I should say that I couldn't tell you a single thing about Dracula because no. I've, you know, I'm sure I've probably seen it, read it, whatever, a long time ago. And yep. said, nope. I, I like mm. the low budget charm of this. Okay. This is super low budget. Oh, I mean, yeah. maybe no budget. Yeah, it had very little mm -hmm. budget, and that comes through. And I like that. It's got that charm to it that I really, really like. Yeah, it, it works well for what it is. I mean, yeah, you know, they accomplished what they're setting out to do with making it feel like an authentic video blog. Yeah, I really kind of dug the fact, and this will mean nothing to you. So you just go ahead and I don't know, count posters or do whatever it is you do when I'm <laughs> when I'm talking about boring things. <laughs> I really like the fact that they made Mina, who in here becomes Mia, uh, they basically turned her into a feminist. I like that, because that's what she was in the book. Uh, she was very, very advanced of, uh, you know, everyone kept complimenting, oh, well, you're really smart for a woman. And so I kind of like that they turned her into this, not like full-on feminist, but kind of feminist overtones. I thought that was really cool. So, uh, hey, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice. Uh, I'm always nice, my friend. So what didn't we like about this movie as much? For me. Rob's opinion. Rob's me. opinion do not reflect the opinions of stupid movies. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I'm not a fan of vampire stories in general. Yep. So I try not to let that be uh, a factor going into stuff. So it's going to affect it. So it's, it's just, yeah. Ugh, yeah. The low budget stuff, or the, you know, the indie vibe was fine and all, but... You know, it, it felt like the whole thing, nothing happened. So, <clears throat> I actually have almost the same point. Yeah. Except I like vampires. Dracula is boring as fuck. Mm. The book is so fucking dull. And if you are doing an adaptation of it, it's going to be boring. Very <laughs> boring. I mean, I was bored from start to finish. Yep. Was not a fan of the characters. Um, you know, some of the, the acting was, was Some decent. of it was decent. Some yeah, of it was... some not so much. Typical with indie stuff. We've said sure. it a hundred thousand times. 
Uh, but I didn't care about what was going on. I could care less about who this girl's boyfriend was or what was going on with her. I'm like, don't move on. There was no blood or gore. There was no action. There was no violence. There was just a guy in a hood, you know? Yep. Okay. Um, your sound mix sucked. <laughs> and I don't know the nice way to say that. I couldn't hear half the movie. The other half was blown out. And that first of all, that was my headphones, but it wasn't. It was really hard to listen to. And yeah. going with the sound mix, I want to specifically point out the motherfucking cricket sound effect. I hate that yeah. sound effect so fucking much. And for whatever reason, especially indie directors, when they include it, they have it turned up so loud that you can't hear the actors. Yeah. Which was the case here. And first of all, you're inside a dorm. You probably wouldn't hear the crickets anyway. That's a good point. I don't care that it's nighttime. You still probably wouldn't hear them. And even if you did, you wouldn't. they wouldn't be so loud that you couldn't hear each other talking. If I could get rid of one sound effect in the world, that would probably be the second or third <laughs> one. I, I don't know if it'd be the top of my list, but it'd be pretty fucking close. I hate that sound effect so fucking what? much. <laughs> What, what sound do they make again? It's like... Yeah, it's like... <laughs> and then try to imagine hearing dialogue. Yeah. I'm going to come to some nitpicks that have to do with the Dracula story. Okay. So you go back to picking your teeth or your nose or whatever <laughs> it was you were doing over there. I don't know. Um, the character... The actor who they had played Dracula was decent looking. Another reason I hate vampires. Dracula in the book is fucking ugly. Like, they talk, they describe him pretty well, and he's not a good-looking guy. Which I guess that actor can take that as a compliment, that he's not ugly enough to be Dracula. Hey, true. But, you know, he was too good-looking for the part. My other big complaint, there was no Renfield. Renfield is one of the most enjoyable characters. They referenced him once or twice, and that yeah. was it. So, I... Uh, those are things that are very specific to this story. Oh my god, you lost your head! I'm back. So, we've never done a TV series before. True. The, uh, well, uh, the other Australian one we did. So, we've weeks. never done a TV series before. <laughs> Rub! Uh, so, this is going to be the first time we do... <clears throat> this is the first time we've done a TV series as a TV series. There you go. Where we're actually treating it like a TV series. So for TV series, we're going to do out of 12. I don't really like Dracula. <laughs> I like vampires, but I'm not a big fan of Dracula. And this was okay. It wasn't great. It wasn't horrible. So to me, this is very middle of the road. And since this is the first TV episode or TV series that we are reviewing as a TV series, I'm going to put it right in the middle and give it a 6 out of 12. Um, th there were some technical issues that really bothered me, but overall, you know, it, it was successful at being a modern retelling of Dracula. I don't like Dracula! <laughs> <laughs> yeah! So... <laughs> Just... Yeah, if you can't tell by now, Rob doesn't like vampires, so he's not going to be as nice as me. No. Go ahead, Rob. <laughs> uh, I really don't really have anything to say about this thing. You know, you made something that's awesome. You succeeded with what you're doing, so that's good. I did not like, I don't like Dracula. I don't like any of that stuff. I was bored. Uh, I just, I'm just going to say that. I'll give it a 1 out of 12. So this is another one of those moments where... Please remember, our numbers reflect only our yes. personal opinions. Yeah, that, I wanted to make sure to say that. Yeah. Uh, this is just how much we personally were entertained by something. Yes, exactly. So, so just because yeah. I did not like anything about this, that's not to say you won't. So still, check it out. Just search Mia Morse's Diary on YouTube. Yep, I'll put and, a link down there. Don't yeah, worry about it. Yeah, the link will be there. Yeah. Um, if you watch it, go let them know. Let them know that we sent you. We sent you. Um, you know, hey, that's that. So, you can check us out online at facebook.com slash stupidmovies. Yep. Instagram at stupidmovies, at Doctor at the horror punk. Uh, you can email us at stupidmovies at outlook.com. If you've seen this, let us know in the comments below. Yep. Like, subscribe, tell your friends, whatever. Just do it! Yep. Send all your hate mail to Rob. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, next time.
next week we're hopping into some Halloween stuff because it's that that time of year. So tune in. Yeah. Happy Halloween, friends. Happy Halloween. Bye bye. <laughs>